Hey everybody, it's ST again. Uh, I know I haven't done um, real videos in probably over a week. I've just kind of been putting together some picture videos uh, all last week. One due to the holidays and two due to both hubby and I both having the flu. His is better. He's went back to work as of Monday. But due to asthma and my thyroid issues that I have, uh, mine always kicks into a different gear. Uh, I know I look like a hot mess, but you know, I'm out in the shop. I'm by myself. There ain't no sense in doing hair and makeup because I know you're not watching these videos to look at my face. You're just looking at seeing what I've been doing. But anyway, mine has turned into bronchitis, which is nothing unusual due to asthma. I uh, went to the doctor yesterday and they gave me a shot in the hip and three prescriptions to take home, one of those being a steroid tablet. So anybody that knows about steroids, you know you're not gonna get any sleep for seven days. <clears throat> so um, needless to say, I'm not sleeping well and I stay hot constantly. Of course, I'm hot natured anyway. So for the next several nights, I'll be sleeping in the guest bedroom because uh, I like to have the ceiling fan on and just very, very minimal covers on. And doing so like that, I freeze my husband to death. So the next couple nights, I have to sleep in the guest bedroom if I want to be able to sleep any. But anyhow, enough about me. I wanted to let you see a couple of things that I'm beginning to work on today. It is a slow process because I haven't done a whole lot this morning other than like get up and eat a little bit of breakfast and make two beds and get dressed. And I went to the gym and worked out at a very slow pace, I might add. And then went down the street just a little ways and picked up <clears throat> a table and a couple of chairs that are already sold. I've been on the lookout for these for a couple of weeks now and I actually found them very close to home. So I went and picked those up at a place this morning close to, uh, close to the house. And then I met another lady at another little place there where I live. And cause she was buying something from me. So I had to meet her and come back home. Done a breathing treatment to try to help some air into these lungs so I can work out here in the shop for just a little while today. Uh, I'm hoping to try to get Miss Becky her table and chairs sometime next week. And I've got this napkin holder that we finally got built. And I've got a paint it, and it's sold. But I will be posting a picture of it because I think it's gonna turn out very cute. And uh, we can actually build some of those to sell. So anyway, I'm gonna attempt to turn this camera around. It never works for me after I start recording, but anywho. I want to show you the table and chairs that I'm going to be working on and then the little napkin holder and um, an end table that I'm probably going to start. Miss Becky's bringing me a end table of hers from her house and that she's wanting painted also while I'm doing the dining room suit. Or it's, it's really it's a dining room suit, but not. She's putting it in her, in her game room uh so they can play games on it and do puzzles on it and stuff like that so it's it's in her it's going to be in her family room uh so it's it is a dining table but she's not using it for that unless it's like holidays and stuff and i think she said that that's it would be extra seating and stuff for her see anyway trying to get that back to her before christmas so she can have that in case she has holiday gatherings at her house but let, there we go these are the chairs <clears throat> excuse me aren't they just the cutest in the world uh, this is an antique dining set somebody's already painted on them um, but the chairs are going to be painted the farmhouse white like I do a lot of furniture and then it'll be weathered and scuffed uh, like so many of my customers like but I just thought those chairs were adorable and then this is the table. Of course, it needs a good bath. I've just got some water out here to start giving it a bath. But it's a double drop leaf. And of course, it, it's been painted also by somebody. So she can either, you know, set it up like this, or she can lower this side to where it sits flush against the wall. 
and then she'll have from there out to work on. Or if she wants to lower both sides, both leaves, then she can do that. So several different options, three good options there. And uh, it came with those two chairs. So that's what I'm gonna be starting on here shortly. <coughs> Excuse me, my breath's already running out on me. Um, but I gotta give it a good bath. And then the top will be um, my dark walnut stain. And then the lower part, uh, including that little lip right there, it's gonna be um, white, the white weathered, just like I'm doing the chairs. <coughs> I still have that coffee table out here that I wish somebody would grab so I can get it out of my way. But as you can see, we've got it covered very good. And matter of fact, the top of this table will be uh, just like the coffee table is. It's, well, no, that's the golden oak. I forgot we painted it golden oak and not the, so anyway, that's still for sale here in the shop if anybody wants to grab that. But um, like I said, the top of that's gonna be the dark walnut lip and bottom, and then the legs will be the farmhouse white. And then the chairs will be white weathered also. This is our napkin box. I don't think I still have a napkin out here. Yes, I do. So I can show you. But these are the um, like seven and a half by seven and a half squared napkins. So it and it'll fit a um, good package of napkins in there all at one time so that's that and then let me see if i can find here it is Oops. <clears throat> this is the handle of course it's you know just for looks but this is the handle that will go on the front and of course, the box itself will be painted white, weathered, and then this will be on the front. And then we've got four of the little feet that will go up underneath each corner just to kind of get it up off of a table. Again, just for looks, you know, just to give it a little bit of a pop. But I will send you pictures or do another video so everybody can see how that turns out. I think it's gonna be real cute. My cousin Teresa asked me to do this over a month ago and uh, the husband has just now had a chance to put that together for me. We actually, He actually built one and it was too big. So now I'm using it for my little shadow box in the house um, to decorate with. And then this is an end table that I have. I had two and I done one for a couple at church and I sanded the whole thing down and restained it, the golden oak. But this one, I'm thinking I'm just gonna um, sand down the top where it's just got a little bit of a weathering to it. The legs and everything look great. So I think I'm just gonna barely scuff the top just to get rid of some of the little bit of weathering. And I think I'm gonna paint it the um, Magnolia Home black and then scuff it. Um, Cause there's a lot of people out there that's, you know, using those black scuff pieces uh, for their furniture pieces in their homes these days. And it's become, black furniture is becoming very, very popular. Uh, so that's what I'm doing there. And then we've got two dressers out here. Hadn't really decided what I want to do with that one. This one, I know it looks loved, but basically all it is is the clear coats coming off of it. So I think some, with some white sanding on it and new hardware on the front, 
Um, it'll be a great, great heavy duty piece that somebody can use in a bedroom or, you know, as a TV table in their living room. And I'm actually thinking about painting it black scuffed, unless somebody claims it and wants something else done to it. <clears throat> Uh, so I would actually, if I do this in the black and the end table in black, scuffed, then I would have two living room or bedroom pieces if somebody wanted to claim those. Um, I still have one, two, three, four. I still have four uh, dining room suits and chairs to go with them. And uh, I have pictures of those set set up outside um with the chairs and stuff around them if any, on my facebook page if anybody would like to claim any of those and uh, decide on color schemes i still have two of the um i was going to use them as charcuterie boards but uh, i've only sold one of those so i figure these could be used for cutting boards in a kitchen and you could leave those on your countertop or bar or anything and um, just use it. I mean, I, I've got one in the house that I use. Mine's actually made out of uh, boxed elder, but my dad made it for me and I use it. These have like four coats of polyurethane on them. So they would be very good for um, cutting board pieces. But I've got two of these left. And if you're local, I have these for $15 a piece. And then I have that nightstand out here that actually goes with that dresser. Um, the dresser's not solid wood, so the only thing that I can do with it is just repaint it and change out hardware. Um, so that would be the only option on that and the end table that matches. If anybody that's local wants to claim those and pick your color, um, we can make it beautiful again. Uh, I did that dresser for my niece for her nursery in that gray, and it turned out amazing. So um, if you're local, just let me know on that. And uh, that's pretty much it right now. I'm hoping to get a few things accomplished out here as long as my breathing. You can definitely feel stuff to start to move in. local and you would like to claim anything that I've got or commission me to do anything if I don't have it in my shop just let me know what you're looking for and your budget and my husband and I will will start to look find it and uh, he's the, I call him my finder of all things so he can find anything but anyway I hope everybody has a great day be blessed but most of all be a blessing talk to you later bye bye